Hello everybody, it's Uncle Matt, and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And tonight's bedtime story is called Dear Dragon by Josh Funk and illustrated by Rodolfo Montavolo. I'll say that again. Illustrated by Rodolfo Montavlo. And this story was copyright in 2016. And guess what? This week is Dragon's Week, 2021. We're doing a bunch of stories about dragons. Two reasons. One, by request from some of our viewers and subscribers, they want to read about dragons and hear about dragons. So here we go. It's Dragon's Week. Also, CBC Season 16 premiere of Dragon's Den is happening this Thursday, um, October 21st, I believe. Just checking my notes here. Yes. Thursday, October 21st, Dragon's Den. So we're kind of doing two things. Dragon Stories and Dragon's Den happening. Dragon's Week. So before... We get too excited. Here's our first story. Dear Dragon. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Hello, students. Our poetry and pen pal projects this year are combined. Upon your desks, you'll see the pen pals that you have been assigned. Now, pen pals. You're thinking, what is that? Pen pals. Well, long time ago when I was a kid, pen pals. We used to write letters on paper with our pencils and pen. And we put it in envelopes. And we put a stamp, a postage stamp on it. And we mailed it to our pen pals. Yes, we, mail, we put it in a mailbox or went to the post office and delivered a letter to our pen pal. You're thinking, why would you do that? Why wouldn't you just, you know, text them or send them an email or something or some kind of instant message? Well, we didn't have that then. We had to do it old school and put it in the mailbox. So this is kind of what this is about. It looks like this school are sending pen pals letters to their pen pals. Here we go. Oh, another challenge. Please make sure the letters that you write are all in rhyme. Bust a rhyme, suck a lime. Yes, dinner time, you know, rhyme. Now open up your envelopes because it's pen pal time. I feel like rapping. Pen pal time. Oh, here we go. Back in September 12th, dear Blaze Dragonmer, we haven't met each other and I don't know what to say. I really don't like writing, but I'll do it anyway. Oh, yesterday, my dad and I designed a giant fort. I like playing catch and soccer. What's your favorite sport? Sincerely, George Slayer. There is a rhymes here. Some rapping. Okay, now on October 1st, dear George Slayer, I also don't like writing, but I'll try it, I suppose. A fort is like a castle, right? I love attacking those. My favorite sport is skydiving. I jump near Falkor Peak. Today is my birthday, but my party is next week. Sincerely, Blaze Dragoner. October 31st. Dear Blaze Dragonmere, you know how to skydive? That's as awesome as it gets. My dog destroyed my fort last night. Do you have any pets? Happy birthday, by the way. I don't have mine till June. I'm trick-or-treating as a knight. We're heading out real soon. George Slayer. November 14th. Dear George Slayer, Nights are super scary. I don't like to trick or treat. Brushing teeth is such a pain. I rarely eat a sweet. My pet's a Bengal kitten. 
and tonight she needs a bath. What's your favorite class in school? I'm really into math. Blaze Dragomir. December 16th. Dear Blaze D, my favorite class is art. I made a mold of my left hand. Next, we'll craft mosaics using pebbles, stones, and sand. Yesterday, I won a prize in this year's science fair. My towering volcano blasted. Lava everywhere. George S. January 18th. Dear George S., my father's won our local fire breathing contest twice. He still retains the record, melting 50 cubes of ice. Do you have any hobbies? I enjoy collecting rocks. I keep them in a secret place, inside a precious box. Blaze D. February 22nd. Blaze, fire breathing? What's your father's job? My folks are teachers. I collect exotic monsters, animals, and creatures. Oh, guess what? I heard the news this morning from Miss Sweet. A pen pals picnics plan for June at last we'll get to meet. George. <laughs> March 15th, George. Dad's in demolition. He works hard throughout the day, but every night we read a book or pick a game to play. Soon he's going to take me flying, once it's really spring. It's such a rush to ride the air that flows from wing to wing. Blaze. April 11th. Hi, Blaze. Skydiving and flying lessons? Wow, your parents rock. I'm lucky if my father lets me bike around the block. Once the school year is over and this project is complete, should we continue writing? Because it could be kind of neat. Your friend, George. May 12th. Hey, George, I'm psyched about the picnic and I can't wait to attend. Who'd have thought this pen pal thing would make me a new friend? Writing more sounds awesome. I was going to ask you too. I've never liked to write as much as when I write to you. Your friend, Blaze. Oh. Welcome to the Pen Pal Picnic. Some surprises there. Blaze? George? My Pen Pal is a dragon? My Pen Pal is a human? Ah, oh, I guess it's okay. Our plan was a success, my friend, or so it would appear. The Poetry and Pen Pal Project, once again, next year? The end. Hmm. Wow. What a great dragon story and a pen pal story. Who would have thought? Dragons and humans getting along. Well, that's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. Stay tuned for more dragon stories this week on Dragon's Week here at Uncle Matt's Bedtime Story. Again, that's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. Until next time, bye for now.